Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to Your Word for the Day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Exodus chapter 12, verses 29 through 32. And today we get to discuss a tragic story that showcases the power of a mighty God, the consequences of sin and rebellion, and God's love for His people. So coming out of the events referred to as the Passover, where God's judgment passed over those who were obedient to His commands and who, who painted their doorposts with the blood of a lamb, we now see God's judgment unleashed on a nation of God's enemies and, and the unfolding plan of God to free His people from an, an oppressive enemy. If you missed the word for the day on the Passover, feel free to watch yesterday's video taught by Robert, our family pastor. But continuing in Exodus chapter 12, verses 29, we read, At midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on the throne, to the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the dungeon, and the firstborn of all the livestock as well. Pharaoh and all his officials and all the Egyptians got up during the night, and there was loud wailing in Egypt, for there was not a house without someone dead. During the night, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Up! Leave my people, you and the Israelites. Go worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and herds as you have said and go. And also bless me. So it can be easy for us to read this story and think, good, I'm glad that the Egyptians got what was coming to them. Or to think that, man, that punishment was too severe. And that if someone had to suffer, then it should have been just the nation's leaders. But we shouldn't forget a few of the Bible's truths. But one, that God hates sin because it destroys relationships. The relationships between us and each other and between us and God. And also, our sin brings death and destruction to us and to all of those around us. See, we've all been the victims of the consequences of our own sin and also the sin of others. The truth is that none of us deserve God's mercy and none of us deserve God's grace. We all deserve death and that it is only because of God's love for us and Jesus' sacrifice for us on the cross that we have the opportunity to spend an eternity with God in heaven. God loves us, and He will do everything that He can to draw us near to Him and to uh, and set us to live out the purpose that He has designed for us. In Romans 8, 28, we read that, And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. So my challenge for you today is to take some time to consider your relationship with God. Are you living in a way that is destructive to the good relationships in your life? Do you find that you're in constant conflict with the people in your life that are closest to you? Is your sin and its consequences affecting those around you? See, some of you may already know the sins in your life. And I'd encourage you to share your struggles uh, with someone else, one of the members of your life group, and just ask them to hold you accountable or to join us on Monday nights at our Celebrate Recovery program. You know, some of you may simply be oblivious to the way that your sin hurts others. So I'd encourage you to take some time to say this prayer today. Just say, Father God, show me the negative emotions, thoughts, and actions in my life that I need to get rid of and convict me of my sins that are destroying my relationships with other people and my relationship with you. Say that prayer and then wait and see what God reveals because none of us are perfect and God has some really good things. Not just normal good, but God-level good things planned for your life. Beyond, it's beyond anything that you could ever imagine. Thank you for tuning into your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we'll see you tomorrow.